All of you know why you're here, apart from Lee, who's going to get his back up today. So guys, before I tie the belt around Lee's waist, I'd just like to talk a little bit. This is, look, anyone who gets a black belt, this is a really, really big moment, not just in his life, okay, but also in the guy that's given the black belt. So it's a big moment in my life too, okay, it's, uh, it really is, it's an important moment that needs to be remembered properly. What I want to say about, I mean, I've got a lot to say about Lee's black belt, but the first thing that I want to say, which is the most important thing first, so I don't forget to say it. They say that it's a village that raises a man, okay? It's a club that raises a black belt. It's not me, it's not any single one of us, it's all of us. From the black belts who stand in this line, okay? To Wilson, whose jiu-jitsu we have flowing through our veins, okay? Um, we've all passed our stuff on to Lee through teaching him and through sparring with him. But then you guys, even the new white belts, when he spars with you, he's trying the stuff that we've shown him, through to the blue belts who are starting to make it more difficult for him, the purple belts who are giving him a nightmare and he's making it, you know, we all raise the black belt together, okay? Every single person in the club has, a, has their own part in that, okay? So when someone gets a, a black belt at Carlson Gracie team, although it's Simon Hayes giving him the black belt, okay? The black belt is a Carlson Gracie team black belt. So I'd just like to reflect on that for a minute. And just, and just <laughs> The, the other things that I wanted to say is, firstly, Lee's been training a long time, okay? When he walked into our club uh, on the other side of Hammersmith Bridge, was it 2007, 2008, sometime Nine. around then? Yeah. 2009, okay? He already showed an aptitude, okay? When I first saw him on the bag punching with his fists, I could tell that he was a fighter, okay? Um, and what I would say, what's important to me, the first thing, the most important thing to me when I pass this belt onto him, is the fact that as soon as I tie this around his waist, unlike all of the other colour belts, okay, me and Lee are intrinsically linked forever, okay? It doesn't matter if Lee goes off and trains with another team, represents someone else, that doesn't matter, okay? He will always be a Simon Hayes black belt, okay? Whenever he walks into a room, whatever country in the world it's in, um, they're going to go, oh, that's Lee Renault, he's a black belt. Someone's going to say, where did he get his black belt from? They're going to say Simon Hayes. So, his name is intrinsically linked to mine. Now that's very, very important because for me it means that I have to be sure not only is his level of jiu-jitsu um, black belt level, but also his integrity as a human being and as a man is black belt level. He, I know this guy's never going to let me down. I know that he's always going to make the right calls in his life. I know that he's always going to live a humble and respectful life. I know that he's always going to be a good representative of my name. That's really, really important, guys, and that's something to think about, okay? As you go through this journey, it's not just about fighting, okay? It's about developing ourselves into the best version of ourselves that we can be. The other thing that I wanted to say was that, for me and what I expect from a black belt, when Lee had to go back to the Northeast uh, a few years ago, there was no jiu-jitsu close to his house. I said to him, Lee, just don't worry, mate. Just go to judo. Lee went to judo. Okay? He's taken every bit of advice that me and Dickie and Wilson have given him throughout his training career. Okay? He's learned wrestling to a high level. None of you are going to take him down. Okay? He's going to take you down. All right? He wrestles at a high level. It doesn't matter whether we're wearing a kit or not. His jiu-jitsu will be the same. He doesn't make, have to make an adjustment for his jiu-jitsu. It makes absolutely no difference to him whether he's wearing a gi or not. That's very important to me as well. Okay? Because this is all of the components of jiu-jitsu. It's not just about this on the floor. It's about how you are with your stand-up. He, he's a stalwart of the MMA class. Okay? He, uh, he enjoys that side of it. I have no doubt that whatever situation arose, he would be able to deal with it 
as a Carlson Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. Um, and so now's the time where I want to tie it around your waist, sir. Now this belt has my name on it, but we're going to sort you out one with your name on it after we've taken your size tonight. I wasn't sure how skinny it had to be. <laughs> Yeah, based on the length of this one, it needs to be quite a bit smaller. Um, we're not going to do any whippings today, no whippings for a black belt, okay, but Lee will be traditionally thrown by all of the other black belts. And uh, I just want to say, oh, and one more thing before I finish rabbiting on. The other thing that's important to think about is that Lee gave up his, his life to follow the, the jiu-jitsu lifestyle. He became a full-time jiu-jitsu fighter, teacher, works in the gym, okay, uh, he's 100% committed to this lifestyle. That's the right colour of belt for him. Yes. black belts can do it I'm sure I'll, I'll be able to work on it but uh, I really do appreciate that I got all of my belts through these guys here Simon gave me my original white belt not, not, not even just my blue belt he gave me my white belt on day one so I do appreciate that from blue purple brown black I got it off these guys here obviously Carlson Gracie is my home away from home I'll, I'll, I am moving back home in in September but obviously, Carlson Gracie London's always going to have a place in my heart. So I thank all the coaches here and obviously all the students as well. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> On a final note, as I think I said at the beginning, this is my first black belt. I'm the third degree now. I've waited nine years looking for the right person who I wanted to award the belt to. And I can't think of a better representative than Lee. So thank you, Lee. have a massive scrap okay we're going to do our normal Saturday class now okay but we're not going to do any technique we're going to go straight into sparring so let me talk about the rules Lee come here please so we're going to have a line of people out in the middle okay and <coughs> if you're here you're going to do one fight and walk off the mat when you walk onto the mat for a fight you're going to start here okay you're going to have your fight with that guy there at the end of the three minute round okay you're going to walk to here, he's going to walk off, okay? And you're going to have someone else come out for another three minutes. So every time you walk on, you're going to do two three minute rounds with no rest, okay? The rules for the fight are IBJJF rules, okay? Starting standing, uh, same as normal, all right? What we're going to do is we're going to have a women's division down at the end. Then we're going to have two, uh, two fighters who are under 75, okay? And then the rest over 75 up here. So Lee, why don't you start in the middle of the space, under 75? Gary? Bob? 